Hi guys, welcome to Rootstem Gaming. Uh, sorry for this bit of bit of disheveled appearance. Uh, not been feeling very great. Uh, as of late, and I've only just got up. Yay. Today we're going to be painting some iron golems. These are from the War Cry series. Um, that's that new, of course, uh, game. Very similar to Necromunda, I believe, from Games Workshop. Um, I'm not going to be playing War Cry myself, but it's a commission piece that I've got from a friend of mine. Uh, so I'm going to be painting up the iron golems first. So I might do a series just paint, showing you how I paint up the rest of them. For this, we're going to primarily use contrast paints. And the reason for that is because we're going to try and get through them quite quick. But it's not going to be any usual contrast method. You are going to require a couple of spray cans. So you are going to need a, a chaos, you're going to need a chaos black. You're going to need a lead belcher. And you're also going to need a pot of your standard contrasting paint. I'm using grey here because I like the colder colour. Um, so I'm going to be using some grey here on this as well before we put the contrast on. But uh, yeah, it's going to be the iron golem, so let's get to it. So I've sprayed them up. This is the little gang that you have to get in the set, I believe. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there might be more, but... Uh, is there more? Oh, I don't think so, actually. But... This is the little gang we have, of course, the Golem. I apologise for the light. Let's see, I'm not quite sure what how that's working. Um, but I've sprayed it black and then sprayed it with methyl silver. You can just use a cheap black if you want. I actually find it a lot easier using contrast paints if I spray an under dark coat first before putting the... I use grace here normally. Uh, this is a silver, of course, that we're actually using. Now, I've done that because majority of the armor is going to require it. And a lot of these figures tend to be armor-based. You could probably even put null oil all over this, actually. No, I'm not going to. Um, right. What I'm probably going to do first, if I'm honest, is to make sure that we paint the flesh. Now, the flesh... There'll be some areas where it'll be a bit awkward to get into, but I'm going to be using my grace here. Oh my god, man, the light on this is terrible. Uh, so I'm going to be using my grace here paint, but when it comes to certain recesses, you see, the reason I've done the dark colouring in first is I spray... See, there's a bit of black still. I spray from an angle. So I spray kind of dead on with the figure. Um, so I make sure the black is all over when I spray it on. As you can see there, it's a lot darker on the inside. And the reason I do that is that when you're painting, with, especially with contrast paints, contrast paints are fantastic when it comes to gravity. Not so much when it comes to something being in a natural shade. So I am thinking that I was actually going to use Administratum Grey, which is a light grey to start with, and then go on to Gracia, which is more of a white. Um, and then leave it, just actually make it like I'm doing a, a, a layer or an overlay. So that all the, de all the, the recess itself is actually still a little bit darker. I know the contrast paints do this for you, but it's like, again, it's like underneath that arm there. If I leave it, when you paint the contrast paint on, the natural shade wants to go there because the gravity pulls it down. And with it being a bit of an oil-based paint, gravity will set it that way. It's So sometimes that's why, personally, when you look at a full contrast, it's a little bit off. It's the same with these. I'm doing these. These are uh, drying at the moment. These are Zulus. Now, what I've done with these is these are painted with really dark brown to start with, a dark brown spray, and I spray from a distance. You can see it's still dark on the underneath. And what that should do is underneath the chin, it creates a darker recess. Behind the headdress, it will create a slightly darker recess. So when I play the, paint the uh, wild wood on these, it makes it darker. I know I'm being a little bit preachy. Preach, 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 preach. But it just, it's just something for it. So what we're going to do, we are going to hit it, like I said, with the administratum grey. And then I'm going to hit it with the grey here. So, the skin has been painted, and as you can see, I've done it with a two-tone. So we've got the Mechanicus, uh, sorry, Administratum Grey, 
and then we've got the grey sear on top if you're doing it with the alternative colours I've done everything that's going to be painted so the handle has actually been painted as well because that's going to be black uh, with the uh, contrast but if you are going to be doing it with um, the other paint it's more like a bone maybe use possibly like a Yushabti bone as a base um, but I'm going to be using a grey because this skin is going to be grey so we're now going to paint the skin. We're also going to paint the metal components. The components that's just going to be pure metal, such as a chain mail. That's now going to be painted with Griff Charger Grey. So we're going to do a standard contrast style. We're going to get the big brush, but I'll be honest, I don't have a stupid brush. Mine's more like a medium basin brush. And load up your brush and get cracking and that's going to go like i say it's also going to go onto the chain mail and it's going to go all over this figure so all the griff charger gray is drying i'm going to crack open the black and all the handles are going to be painted black on the actual weapons including the staff so again same brush try and be as careful as we can and we're just going to paint all that back that's the idea at least and if you've watched the channel enough you will know black on contrast is my least favorite color so we've got a griff charger gray drying we've got the black drying we're now we're going to add Blood Angel Red all onto the armor pieces. So all the pieces that's remained silver. This is now going to get this treatment. It's all in the end. Paint this. So I apologize for shaky cam. I've taken my stand to my local war games club to do some recording and I forgot to bring it back, which is brilliant. Well done, Paul. Right, um, I've gone and put the brass in. Um, I'll get the paint out. Uh, screaming Bell. And what we're going to do after Screaming Bell, we're going to add Agrox Earthshade Gloss. Now, this is going to be put all over the figure, including the red armour that we've just done. As you can see, it's quite a dark armour. I'm going to be putting that all over there just to finish it off, uh, just to give it a, a shine and, of course, to give it that little bit of um, yeah, but a little bit of reset, a bit more recess shading because you don't it, with silver sometimes it doesn't come through that well. And once that's done, we're then going to move on to uh, basing it. So, guys, sorry for the shaky cam, but there you have it. Um, I've still not got my stand, but there you have just a quick, nice and simple. I've tried to do the base with a grey, maybe a bit of green because some of the board is like that. Again, I'm going for sort of corn colours. You've got your red, you've got your brassy, and you've got your metal. And they're uh, painted pretty much with contrast colours. Uh, so that's a contrast squad. And uh, I'll do the second and subsequent units. I'll put a video out of that regarding the beast as well. I'll also be doing the terrain. These will probably be going out side by side with my uh, really, really detailed um, Primark <laughs> uh, videos. But uh, thank you very much for watching. Again, apologies for the shaky cam at the end. Um, but uh, yeah, if you keep uh, just subscribe, hit that notification button if you wanted to see the rest of the series, if you want to see more of what um, Rootstem brings. And if you are interested in commissions, you can always go to my website, that's rootstem.co.uk, and uh, you just basically send me a message from there. Well, thank you very much, guys. We'll see you next time.